okay so like uh, last session uh we have given input for this uh, cap correct cap we were discussing so whether input we have provided correct middle east okay now space input for training room 1 general we have given this name floor area average ceiling height and building weight now we are supposed to discuss this one outside air ventilation requirements we can start outside air ventilation requirement is fresh air demand fresh air to maintain indoor air quality how much quantity of fresh air has to be introduced within the space we have to discuss okay see for ventilation calculation different methodologies we have it. like uh, as per ashray 62.1 for normally you know comfort air conditioning system we can use ashray 62.1 standard from that standard we can take data and we can give the input or like some health standard health standard they will be recommending like a ashray 90.1 and all like they'll be not 90.1 170 there'll be health care facility they'll be recommending uh, for fresh air air changes per hour or air acph or ach air changes per hour four or sometimes means fresh air not the entire recirculation air changes per hour four they will be recommending anyhow one by one we can discuss so outside air ventilation requirement under space usage, different options are there. Before that, we can manually calculate it. For example, since we are dealing with the training room, how much quantity of fresh air has to be provided within the training room, we have to calculate. Okay. So, let me calculate it. See. The total fresh air demand within the space, okay, your yeah, total fresh air flow rate or outside air flow rate, your total fresh air flow rate will be flow rate is a summation of we have to add people ventilation flow rate, people ventilation flow rate plus area ventilation flow rate we can manually calculate like this means each person how much quantity of fresh air has to be provided inside plus each flow rate each meter square of area how much we have to provide accordingly we have to calculate it anyhow the first one people ventilation flow rate we can calculate right People ventilation flow rate in liter per second only normally we will be calculating it. Yeah, people ventilation flow rate in liter per second is equal to number of people within the space, number of people within the space multiplied by RP value. RP value. This RP value we should take from ASHRAE 62.1 standard, ventilation standard. RP value for training room we are dealing with the training room only for training room anyhow i'm just let me go to that i'm just selecting ashray 62.1 standard ashray 90.1 this is 2007 let me open it ashray 62.1 standard okay so in Ashray 62.1, if you're going down, table number here, table number 6, 5, and 1, this one. Page number 12 onwards, it is there. This is page number 12 only, for example, this is page number 11. So this will be page number 12. And from this, you can see minimum ventilation flow rate, minimum ventilation flow rate in breathing zone. And here you can see the occupancy category, what type of space you are designing. Occupancy category. 
people outdoor air rate and area outdoor air rate people outdoor air rate is called rp this value we should take each person how much quantity of fresh air has to be introduced with respect to the activity level both the unit imperial system cf unit cfm unit is also available liter per second is so we are dealing with si unit so we can go for a liter per second value okay not this one it's a compound because this is two less only we can go to here the first one what type of building we are dealing with the training room so if the training room is not there for example educational facility classrooms classroom lecturer classroom lecturer hall or, or means which space is having almost a similar activity level that one you can select or if you are going to the food and beverage services like uh, uh, their kitchen and all general break room coffee stations conference or meeting room is somewhat okay conference or meeting room you can okay but here you can see educational facility we are having a lecturer classroom lecturer classroom and here each person need 3.8 liter per second at the same time means one person we should deliver 3.8 but for the same time conference or meeting room we have to introduce 2.5 liter per second only so it is clear that in educational facility meeting room lecturer or classroom somewhat here only but the activity level might be slightly different than office we are dealing with office first up vidabi bank building only so that's why we are dealing with the office kind of thing here you can see the criteria that we need inside the conference room meeting room training room almost same you can consider how much it is each person you should deliver 2.5 liter per second you don't want to consider this educational facility under general conference or meeting this one you can consider that is fine even if if you are considering 3.8 liter per second that is not a big issue okay but excess we don't want right so rp how much we are getting rp value we need 2.5 liter per second per person liter per second per person each person right each person we should provide 2.5 so how many number of people will be there so number of people also has to be calculated right so number of people will be from where you can find number of people for time being i will explain with respect to ashray 62.1 we 0.1 we can calculate that but for time being already we are having a furniture layout from the furniture layout we can select so inside this training room one how many number of people are there 1 2 3 4 you can count the chairs 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 into 4 24 plus 1 25 number of people correct so here we are having 25 number of people so number of people will be 25 okay 25 number now we can find the people ventilation rate people ventilation flow rate will be number of people within the building okay number of people within the building is 25 multiplied by liter per second per person value rp value 2.5 so 25 into 2.5 you need 62.5 liter per second that is our people ventilation the same way area ventilation flow rate we should find area ventilation you should find area ventilation flow rate will be space area that we are designing or the floor area of space floor area that we are designing in meter square multiplied by r a value r a value so r a value we can take from here for example this is not r p r a value of training room from the same table you can set occupancy people outdoor area outdoor air rate r a value if you are coming to the cuff, this one a conference room or meeting room cfm per square feet and liter per second per square feet meter square meter square since we are dealing with the si unit we can go for liter per second conference or meeting room each meter square we should deliver 0.3 liter per second to maintain the indoor air quality okay that is people ventilation flow rate sorry r s sorry this area ventilation flow rate floor area that we are designing you should find r a r a of training room we can consider 0.3 liter per second per meter square per meter square the next one we need floor area floor area we already know right here you can see for training room one we have already taken 77.8 meter square floor area will be 77.8 meter square now the area ventilation flow rate will be area ventilation flow rate is 
floor area in meter square multiplied by RA value per meter square, liter per second per meter square that is called the RA, liter per second per person that is called the RP. So how much we need? 23.34 liter per second. Now we can find the fresh air flow rate or outside air requirement. You can add it together. Your fresh air flow rate will be, okay, people ventilation flow rate 62.5 plus area ventilation flow rate 23.34. You need 85.84 liter per second. So this people ventilation flow rate plus area ventilation flow rate, manually we can calculate. So we found that overall 85.84 liter of air has to be introduced within the space to maintain the indoor air quality. Okay. How we can introduce that? You can select this one, the table, space. Under the outside air ventilation session, space usage you can select user defined. This session, I am not providing any value. Outside air requirement, I am not providing anyone. Outside air require out of these two, anywhere you can provide. Outside, outside air requirement one, instead of liter per second per person, I am selecting liter per second value. How much it is liter per second? 85.84. 85.84, 85 you can round into 86. Even if, if you are not rounding, the software will round it. 85.84, 85.84 liter per second. You can round that into 85.8. Even if, if you are rounding that into 85. Point, sorry, 86 liter per second, no problem. 0.16 liter per second difference, right? Now click OK. Now when the software will calculate, when this 85.8 uh, liter per second of air when we are introducing inside, so the AC machine has to take care how much sensible load, how much latent load, everything. Psychrometric calculation, the software will do in the background. This is manually we have given the input. OK. The next option. You can give liter per second per person value and liter per second per meter square value. Liter per second per person value is called RA. Liter per second per meter square is R. Liter per second per uh, person is RP. Liter per second per meter square is RA. These two values we can provide here. The remaining calculation the software will do in the background. For example, outside air requirement 1, liter per second per person is how much? We have taken from the 62.1, 2.5 liter per second. You can provide here. This one will be... 2.5 liter per second per meter square that will be ri value liter per second per meter square is 0.3 we can give 0.3 now what the software will do software will be multiplying this 0.3 with the 77.8 so the area ventilation will calculate software will be multiplying this 2.5 with the people people input we have not provided later we will provide on that time the software will be multiplying this 2.5 with the number of people Accordingly, the software will be calculating the same flow rate. Correct. So that is somewhat easy, right? You don't want to do the manual calculation. Just provide RIRP value. But the most easy, easiest one, let me make this zero. Select the type of space. If training room is not there, no problem. General conference room, you can select or meeting room. Scroll down. General conference or meeting. See, now you can see both the values are zero. When you are selecting general conference or meeting, you can see people ventilation. Liter per second per meter square is 0.3. Liter per second per person is 2.5. But it is not editable. You can't edit it. Because this data, the software is selecting from where? Ashray standard only. Okay. Ashray standard. Clear? So this will be easy for you. One more method is there. Like uh, Ashray. Healthcare facility sometimes in, when you are designing clean rooms or when you are de designing intensive care unit and all. Ventilation we will be introducing there with respect to the air changes per hour only. ACH value. For example, how much quantity of fresh air has to be introduced within the space we will be assuming with respect to the replacement of air. For example, AC ACH 1 means. Air changes per hour 1 means within 1 hour the entire volume of air we are having inside the space will be replaced by fresh air one times. Means one, one hour, for example, your room volume is, say, air changes per hour concept. Your room volume with area into height, we might be having like a 180 meter cube, say, example. Air changes per hour one means within one hour, this 180 meter cube of existing air will be replaced by fresh air. So your fresh air flow rate will be 
180 meter cube per hour. That is air changes per hour 1. Air changes per hour 2 means within 1 hour, 2 times the existing volume within the space means volume of air within the space will be replaced by fresh air 2 times. Then your fresh air requirement will be 2 into 180 meter cube per hour. This went to infill, this is for uh, this air changes per hour method we are using a lot of times. Not only for this fresh air calculation, for exhaust calculation means uh, residential kitchen exhaust calculation. Uh, or you will study in the upcoming classes kitchen hood ventilation. That is different, Ashtray 154. There we are not using this ACH value. But residential kitchen calculation we are using ACH value. Infiltration we will be calculating ACH value. Car park exhaust calculation, lobby pressurization calculation, smoke exhaust calculation, then toilet exhaust calculation, lot of region, this concept we are using, ACH or ACPH, air changes per hour. Air changes per hour 7 means in 1 hour, 7 times the existing volume of air within the space will be replaced by fresh air by 7 times. Correct. By that consideration, for example, uh, I am having this training room. Okay. So you know the training room area. Training room 1. Area how much it is? Area that is like a 77.8 meter square. Correct. 77.8 meter square. Floor height. Floor height. When you are calculating the floor height for ventilation calculation with respect to the finished floor level to the fall ceiling you should consider. Not until the bottom of slab. But if you are not having the fall ceiling with respect to the finished floor level to the bottom of slab you should consider. If you are having fall ceiling height you should consider until, until finished floor level to the fall ceiling. If you are not having fall ceiling then finished floor level to the bottom of slab. Let's say here we are having 2.7 meter ceiling height. 2.7 meter so the volume of space will be, not meter square, that is meter. The volume of space will be area into height. 77.8 into 2.7. How much? 2, 10.06 cubic meter, meter cube. Now, your ventilation flow rate with respect to the air changes per hour. Ventilation flow with respect to the air changes method is equal to this uh, volume of your space that you are designing in meter cube multiplied by air changes per hour okay, divided by 3600. When you are doing this calculation, because volume of space into air changes per hour, you will be getting the value in meter cube per hour only. So when this meter cube per hour, if you are uh, dividing with the 3600, you can convert that into meter cube per second. So, this meter cube per second value, okay, when you are multiplying with the 1000, you can convert that into liter per second. You will be getting that in liter per second. By that consideration, for example, air changes per hour, for a, if it, it, it's training room one only, we need, say, example, four air changes per hour. Then the ventilation flow rate will be Ventilation rate of flow will be volume of space multiplied by air changes per hour, okay, divided by 3600. So, you will be getting that in meter cube per second, multiplied by 1000, you can convert that into liter per second, correct. One meter cube is 1000 liter. Click enter, you will be getting 233.4 liter per second of air. So, this will be air changes per hour method. But air changes per hour method we are not using in the conventional system. We are using in health care facility. Okay. So you should not normally for comfort air conditioning system with this kind of hotel building, office building. Uh, everywhere we are using this ASHRAE 62.1 standard only. But it doesn't mean that each and every building it is possible to design using ASHRAE 62.1. Health care facilities and all we might be using different standard. There the fresh air demand we are not calculating with respect to the ASHRAE 62.1 method. We will be calculating the fresh air demand with respect to the ACH method only. So how much ACH has to be considered? ACH, two types of ACH. Normally the people used to say within this uh, healthcare facility. 
എ സി എച്ച് ഓഫ് റീസർക്കുലേഷൻ പ്ലസ് എ സി എച്ച് ഓഫ് പ്രഷർ എ സി എച്ച് ഓഫ് റീസർക്കുലേഷൻ മീൻസ് ദ ടോട്ടൽ എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് എയർ ഹാസ് ടു ബി സർക്കുലേറ്റഡ് ത്രൂ ദ കൂളിംഗ് കോയിൽ ടു എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് എൻറ്റയർ ഹീറ്റ് വിത്ത് ഇൻ ദ സ്പേസ് വിൽ സ്റ്റഡി ഇൻ ദ അപ്കമിംഗ് ക്ലാസസ് ഡോൺ വറി എ സി എച്ച് ഫോർ ഫ്രഷ് എയർ എയർ ചേഞ്ചസ് പെർ അവർ മീൻസ് ദ എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് ഫ്രഷ് എയർ ഹാസ് ടു ബി ഇൻട്രഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് വിത്ത് ഇൻ ദ സ്പേസ് ടു മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ ദ ഇൻഡോർ എയർ ക്വാളിറ്റി വി ആർ ഡീലിംഗ് വിത്ത് സോ sometimes you might be hearing in the healthcare health care facility air changes per hour 14 air changes per hour 20 air changes per hour 25 those bigger values are complete recirculation only air changes per hour 4 or 5 or 6 when you are hearing that is fresh air fresh air demand but with respect to the local standard of health care we are having ashray uh, 170 standard i guess yeah ashray 170 one second Ashray 170 ventilation for health care facility, exactly. From this standard, we can find the data. How much fresh air has to be provided with, with, within data. For example, minimum outdoor ACH. You might be able to see this, right? Or uh, 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 save image. In downloads. Let me download it. Save this one. Good. here you can see this is uh, 170 standard here you can see for healthcare facility like uh, patient room and all patient rooms this is ashray standard only ashray but not 62.1 standard this is 170 170 is only for healthcare facility patient rooms minimum outdoor air changes per hour how much it is 2 2 correct so from here you can find it how much and the condition might be different the design temperature in degree celsius like 21 to 24 degree celsius in patient room and the relative humidity maximum will be 60 so that criteria has to be maintained in yeah. so in that scenario when you are do, doing for this health care facility the standard might be different okay understand that fine so what you have to do in our case just to select a uh, uh this one which one conference or meeting this is more than fine select it you don't want to do this kind of calculation but you should know how what calculation the software is doing in the background okay click okay fine okay so general has done the next step after general you can go to the internal means what all things will come inside the space that is generating the heat two three four sessions are there the first one or head lighting okay the next one task lighting or head lighting task lighting then we are having electrical equipment people anything else will come under miscellaneous category okay the first thing we can discuss or head lighting or head lighting three types of lights are there under the fixture type recessed unvented recessed vented and a free hanging type three type of light fittings so the difference is we okay so normally three types of light fitting because the amount of heat that is entering into the space will vary with respect to the type of space light fitting this is your finished floor level and this is your pole ceiling level okay see we are having one light another one third one as you know everyone this as you know uh, everyone might be aware about this light what this is free hanging free hanging so the amount of light that is emitted or the radiation that is emitted by the light will be completely entering into the space only so this is a space where people will be staying correct then recessed unvented means recessed unvented anyhow from this light fitting little amount of very negligible amount of heat will be going above the false ceiling majority of heat will be projecting below only recessed lights will be fixing on the false ceiling recess the light you know free hanging everyone might be aware recess the light this one no ceiling concealed one somewhat 
Only this side, you can see the remaining, remaining everything will be projecting above the false ceiling. This one, this is the lights. The tip you can see. The rest everything will be above it. Okay. So this is called recessed unvented, but in recessed vented type of light fitting. Recessed vented, the light itself will be having small holes in it, small perforations in it. Means that is for ventilation. So the, the problem, little amount of heat will be going. Upside at the same time, air also will be going upside. Since it is having perforation in the lights itself, the amount of air that is going above the fault ceiling will be higher comparing to the recessed unvented. Means light itself will be having ventilation. So the disadvantage is when the return air is going upside, return air will be having contact with this air. The return air temperature will be slightly increasing. But even though in recessed unvented also the return air will heat up. Correct. So that is called recessed unvented. Anyhow, recessed unvented is not widely used, but if you are using, you can select it. Anyhow, what type of light fitting it is, perfected details will be getting from the light manufacturers only. Correct. So just pre designed value, pre designed thing or standard, normally we will be using this one. Which one? Recessed unvented type. You can select recessed unvented. If you are using a free hanging, you can go for free hanging. Okay. So you can select training room one. Internal, select recessed unvented, vended, free hanging. Standard one, recessed unvented, you can select. Light fitting, heat gain is by radiation only. That is also two ways we can give. Either by watt per meter square value or by watts value. Watt per meter square means if you are not having any light fitting drawings, if you are getting a plain drawing, you have to give the input. Okay, You have to give the input. Means Ashray has studied a lot of building and per meter square value for lighting they have arrived. This data, what per meter square data, we used to call that as LPD value. Means lighting power density value. This LPD value from any Ashray fundamentals chapter non-residential heating and cooling load calculation. Any fundamentals. Ashray fundamental. Once in every three years, the Ashray will be revising the fundamentals. Any, any fundamentals, non-residential cooling and the chapter they have provided. Heating and cooling load calculation. Or our energy standard Ashray, 90.1 standard. From Ashray, 90.1 standard, per meter square lighting load we can consider. Okay. For example, this one is Ashray fundamental 2017. Chapter number 18. Non-residential cooling and heating load calculation. <coughs> if you are going just, you can see the LPD value, lighting power density value. Lighting power density using space play. For example, the first one, different methods are, for example, conference, meeting room, multi-purpose rooms. Each meter square you should consider how much? One meter square you should consider. Training room separate it is there. The different training room is there. 13.4. 13.4. But conference room and all, if you want to consider like uh, how much conference or meeting multi-purpose, 13.3. Means one meter square, you should consider 13.3. Like that, how many meter square of floor area? 77.8 meter square. So 77.8 into 13.3, you can find that. Okay. This is from non-residential cooling and heating chapter only. But you can go, go for Ashray 90.1 standard. Ashray 90.1, table 9.6.1. Table 9.4. This is Ashray 90.1 standard or energy. Okay. I guess page number 68 or 9. 69. Table 9.6. Office, enclosed office. Closed office 12. Open office 12. <coughs> Training rooms and all. Classroom, training room and all, you should consider 15 watt per meter square. Slight difference will be there between this ASHRAE 90.1 and ASHRAE fundamentals. ASHRAE fundamental also taking the data from where? ASHRAE 90.1 only. So this value also they have considered as a reference from ASHRAE 90.1 standard only. So you can take this LPD value means if you are not having the light fitting details, you can go for either ASHRAE 90.1 standard, any version, or you can go for ASHRAE fundamental non-residential heating and cooling load calculation chapter. Okay. Which one? Clear. 
So what do you have to do? For example, if you are designing a training room, 90 training room, if you want to consider 15 watt per meter square LP, LPD value, you can open HAP. Okay, this is 15 watt per meter square. Click OK. <clears throat> How much can come? 77.8 meter square, correct. 1 meter square, 15. Like that, 77.8. 77.8 meter square into 15. Overall, how much it can come? 1167 watts can come. Total. 1 meter square, 15 watts, like that. 77.8 meter square, 77.8 into 15. If you're having doubt, after providing the LPD value, change the unit into watt per meter square from watts to watts. How much it is? 1167. So the watt calculation we have performed here, the same only the software also will be doing in the background. Now understood? How to calculate the lighting load? Floor area into watt per meter square, you can find it. Next one, if you are having light fitting detail, definitely go for that. But that is very rare. If you are having a reflected ceiling plan or a lighting layout, in that normally we will be having lighting details. For example, if I am going to this uh, PDF of this one, RC reflected ceiling plan of training room one here, what is this F5? Normally, this you can study in the upcoming. This F5 is light fitting only. This is SR, SR, your air terminal, square diffusers only for HVAC. These are sprinkler, okay, emergency lamp, EM, SD like a smoke detectors only. The, but if you're having doubt, you can go to the legend. From the legend, you can find it. What is this F5? F5, that is 6060, means 600 mm by 600 mm, recessed LED light fixture only, and it is having a rated load of how much? 39 watt. 39 watt, it is already provided, it is finalized. So one bulb is 39 watt, like that how many bulbs we are having? We can count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, how much it is? 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 number of light fittings. So your rated load will be, total electrical load will be like a 16 into, one bulb will be 39 watt, so into 39. How much it is? 624. Actual. This only you should consider. But lighting, how much electrical uh, load it is consuming, the same will be entering into the space of heat energy. Electrical energy, it will be converting into Light energy. Light energy is radiation only. So how much electricity or it will be consuming, how much power the lights are consuming, one in other way, all the heat will be accumulated within the space of heat energy. So the entire lighting load you should consider, 624. So select this one. Instead of watt per meter square, you can select watt. You can provide that as 624, 624. If you are clicking OK, the software will show error. Because we have to assign a schedule for this one. Scheduling. Because... My peak atmospheric time, peak heat gain we are getting from all the other except light, all the other heat gain, peak that is happening within training room one. So that is in like uh, 3 p.m. only, example. But this training room one, working time is from morning 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. only. How much it is? 624 watts of light fitting. All the other peak, it will come like a 10 kilowatt. This will be like a point 0.624 kilowatt. All the other load will come 10 kilowatts. Example, I am saying 10 kilowatt. Lighting load is 0 0.624 kilowatt. Watt divided by 1000. But you can see peak load is happening by 3 p.m. only. On 3 p.m., this office will be off. So that's why on 3 p.m., the software will not consider the 624 watts. Correct. The software will be neglecting the 624 watt as per the schedule. So within this schedule, you have to assign that. Correct. Within this schedule, you have to assign that. So, but if you want to generate uh, uh, this one, which one, uh, a report, the procedure that I am going to do now is more than sufficient. Means just to generate your report, if you need, then select this one. Create new schedule. Let's say that is my 24 hour schedule. Click OK. What is that? Whatever the condition it may. 
when the software is doing calculating finally it will consider overhead lighting to generate the report or if you want to consider the lighting load always whatever the condition it may then you can simply assign a 24 hour like this this is more than sufficient to generate your report fine I'm just go okay it's more than fine i'll do that procedure maybe okay once again but if you need a detailed report but detailed scheduling is not mandatory for which one uh, to generate the report that is for energy analysis only means if the uh, building is consuming this much uh, electricity and per annum how much electricity cost can come so that's why simulation only detailed scheduling is mandatory anyhow let me create a new detailed schedule i will explain we can go to the schedule session create a new schedule three section schedule type hourly profile and assignment under schedule type now the schedule name you can provide let's say that is my lighting schedule lighting schedule of training room one or in the starting you can any name you can provide training room one lighting or fab your project name fab lighting three option fractional fan or thermostat utility rate fan or thermostat we will be dealing when we are giving input for system utility rate when we are doing when we are doing the simulation not mandatory so when we are dealing with the people light fitting equipments miscellaneous fractional only you have to select fraction this all this preset value was fractional only when you are coming to the next we are having hourly profile you can check we are having one profile number one to profile number eight eight different profiles are there see my training room will be working from like let's example training room will be working from sunday uh sunday to thursday 9 am to 5 pm 9 am to 5 pm sunday to let's yeah sunday to thursday and then friday it is off saturday it is half day half day means that will be from 9 am to 1 pm like that this is a working time so we'll be getting this detail from the client only 9 am to 1 so working day off half day select this one profile number one this one you can double click and select or you can click here and you can select this one profile number one double click it you can provide the name top side that is my working day zero just bottom you can see we are having options from zero 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 one these are 24 hour only zero one means zero zero means 12 am 1 am 2 am 3 am we can select one by one for example 12 am if the office is not functioning or this is 90 percentage 80 percentage working if it is not working you can give it like this for the first one you can select like 90 percentage or 70 percentage until the last one if you want to select for the same you can click and hold your shift key and the last one you can select so the entire will be adjusted to the same but the easiest method I will show that. Easy method. See, it is clear that the, my office will be working from 9. So I am providing 0 there, 0 hyphen 7 am. Now one will be using light fitting. So the lighting load I am providing 0. 0. But 8 am, even if the office is at 9, people might be start reaching office before that. 8 a.m. the people might be consuming 50 but if you want for safety you can consider for example morning 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. 10 percentage 20 percentage lighting load if you want to consider you can provide that but I am not considering it working time lighting load only I am considering for AC 8 a.m. 50 percentage of people will be working then 9 a.m. to 17 17 means 5 p.m. everyone will be using the light fitting I am just considering 100 percentage but at the same time uh, one second 9 am to 
like 12 i'll be considering 100 okay then 13 to 14 lunch time lunch time you can provide that as 50 means lunch time people might not be using that much light fitting say 50 percentage but lunch time also you want to consider even that also you can consider okay now until then 15 to 17 that will be 100 percentage fine even after the office people might be there so 18 to let's say 2 hour allowance 18 to 20 you can consider that is uh, 50 percentage of light fittings might be using then from 21 hyphen 23 no one will be using the light fitting that will be zero so this is my profile of working day light fitting will be using in this profile so with respect to this profile only the software will be calculating the simulation selection of light fitting load okay it's my working the next one half day profile number two half day half day see half day means like working time from uh, uh, 9 am to 1 pm same way 9 am so 0 to 7 that is uh, 0 percentage 8 that is 50 percentage 9 to 13 100 percentage 14 to 15 let's say 2 hour 14 to 15 50 percentage then 16 to 23 0 this is a half day profile okay the profile number 3 holiday off off okay means 0 to 23 no one will be using anything Now you can come to the hourly profile, working day, half day off. If you want to edit it, you can come and you can do the editing. Okay, three. Like that more, until eight profiles we can create. Now the next step, you have to come to the assignment. You have to assign it. Top side, you can see only design option. Means what profile you should consider for your design. Definitely, AC, we should select for working day, not for half day. AC, we should select for working day. Based on that only the system has to design it. Means you can select the first one and drag and select the last one. Means this is design January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, 12 months only. So all these 12 months, what profile we should select for AC selection? All these you can select if you need two, you can drag and everything, click two or click three, but we need what? Click one. Okay. But one thing, just select this FAB lighting. Just go to the assignment. Below that, we are having black color now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. As I told, click OK. Click OK. I just go to the view option under preferences. This energy analysis I have unchecked. I am selecting this one. Click OK. Just go to the spaces. Now just uh, go to the internal. FAB lighting selected assignments. You can see now it is activated. Why it is? Because for design, it is clear that design, we don't want in depth scheduling. This kind of in depth scheduling, we don't want. Just one schedule for 24 hours you can create or working day you can create, then you can assign it. Software will be using the first column, this one design column for heating and the cooling load report. This Monday to this, all these things, the software will be considering for. Simulation, energy analysis, cost comparison. Correct. That's why detailed scheduling is not mandatory mandatory for IC selection. Okay. See, anyhow, here you can see Monday to, you know, Sunday to Thursday. Working day. So Sunday, you can select Sunday working. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Working only. Friday, definitely half day. Saturday, off. Holiday is also off. So this column. For example, entire December is off. Entire December is off. Then this section you can select. Entire December is off means, for example, if you are designing a school, education institution, 
January, February, March, April, entire May, if it is off, off means, you can select this. One day to holiday, you can select that is off. Accordingly, the system will be designing. Okay. But anyhow, we need that. So Monday to Thursday, that will be working. Friday, that is off only. Friday off only. Friday off, off, off. Correct. Friday off. Saturday off day. Sunday working. Fine. Holiday off. But we are assigning holiday. How the software will identify it? When will be the holiday? We are assigning holiday will be three. Off. Oh. When will be the holiday? Click OK. Click OK. Just go to the weather details. Under the weather property, we have assigned everything. Just go to the simulation session. Here we are having calendar option. Here you can assign the holiday list. But simulation, as I told, it is not for heating and the cooling load calculation report. This for energy analysis purpose means analysis means costing. How much electricity cost can come. Okay. More updated weather details. Anyhow, we have assigned there for simulation. Simulation, separate weather details if you need. You can select from the HAP library. Even if, if you are not selecting means no problem. But you can go to this HAP library. From the HAP library, you can go to the UAE, United Arab Emirates. UAE, Abu Dhabi, you can select this one. Click open it. This is just for simulation. From the HAP library, Abu Dhabi details you can upload. Simulation. Not for design weather, only for cost comparison weather. Now the calendar you have to assign. January first day, first is what day? Monday, Tuesday. Accordingly, the calendar will be adjusted. For example, 2023, January will be January 1st will be Sunday. Sunday. So you can select January 1st will be Sunday. Correct. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, you can assign. Now the holidays. One thing is clear. Friday is off. So you can double click this thing. Friday is off. Plus, half day neglected. Holidays we have to assign. Any government holiday, you can. But that you should go through the local calendar. Holiday calendar. February, Friday. March, Friday. So accordingly, the working time of your AC machine will be adjusted. Lighting fittings will be adjusted. Friday. You can double click and add it. If you don't want, you can uncheck it. Okay. So, oh. but Friday is already we are assigned as a holiday, right? Friday we have assigned in the schedule only, holiday. Okay, okay, fine. That we have assigned in the schedule only, how the software know whether which day in the year will be holiday. That holiday, just we have assigned as Friday. Not day, we just assigned the schedule there. It is not like day we have not. Okay. Yeah, now I understand. Okay. Number. Number. December. Okay. So, actually, this process is not mandatory. Just understand. Just for your knowledge, I told. For heating and the cooling load, report generation. Uh, like what? That process is not mandatory. Because for energy analysis, we are having a lot of other softwares, perfect softwares. Even Revit MEP will do better than that. Okay, just go to the weather details. Done. Space. Training room one. Internal. Schedules. Now you can come to the assignment. See, holiday. Now we have provided profile number three. Now the software will identify. Okay, January 6, January 1. These are off day only. Accordingly, the final report will come. Clear. Uh, Anyhow, sir, so okay. this simulation will work for one or two uh, years only in that case. Because we have to select manually. In this software, yeah, manually, yes, fine. Uh, so, uh, simulation can be selected for one or two or three years maximum. Year of working means you're asking means year of means hour of working changing means that will change, like yes, that. yes, yes, correct. Yeah, definitely that will change. Hmm. 
and that because but holidays that is will also change year, thing, no? yearly so uh -huh. accordingly uh, that we need to change again and again but it is not possible this one we are doing for selection only no so initially once a machine has selected we will be selecting the machine then we will install it after three yes, yes, yes. after three years if the working time is changing means it is not possible to replace your machine correct correct so that's why initially when we are designing means the hectic condition you have to consider then accordingly you have to design it okay okay you should foresee okay. in the future right anyhow this kind of fluctuations are unpredictable so normal working time you should consider accordingly you have to design it okay, okay. okay. fine so we have to pro we have provided this overhead lighting click okay save it the next one task lighting task lighting is conditional uh, uh, uh. any light fittings if you are using for a special task for example within this uh, training room one somewhere here in the corner say example here in the corner we are having a printing area so people will be coming there actually it's a door only but just understand it's here we are having a printing area here we are having a photostat xerox machine <clears throat> so whenever people are coming there to do the specific task of printing then they here we will be having a light fitting then they will turn on that light when they, whenever they are leaving they will turn off it that. that's why like that any special task if you are using some light fittings within the space that is called a task lighting any task lighting we are having inside is yes, we are having a projector there the projector one in other way it is a light fitting only correct whether there is mercury lamp projector or if it is like led projector projector is also a light fitting right so it is projecting to the screen right so in another way all the project how much rate at load the projector is consuming that everything will be coming within the space but in movie theaters and all we will be having projector exhaust projector room exhaust will be there in movie theaters like normally this kind of wall means ceiling hung type of projectors it is having an inbuilt exhaust fan but that inbuilt exhaust fan will be ejecting the heat that is generated inside the projector to the surroundings only outside the projector area so that heat also will be accumulated within the space only the ac has to take care of that but in movie theaters and all along with the projector they will be having an exhaust system correct this is an exhaust fan if the inbuilt exhaust fan within the projector will not be having that much static pressure to suck the air and to deliver outside so in between the duct system will be proposing fans that fans are called inline ducted fan inline ducted fan in between the duct branch will be proposing it so if it is it might be an in, inline ducted fan or in the roof side we might be for proposing a roof mounted fan any anyway, whatever it may one fan will be there for example this one is inline ducted fan only this one see this is in between the duct branches will be connecting a fan so if the movie projector is not having the, it it will be having a fan but that fan will not be having that much esp to deliver the air to a larger extent static pressure we can study okay that's why if you are having an exhaust fan if this is eject, ejecting the heat that is generated within the space to the outside then lot of heat you can neglect by that scenario how much heat rejection has to be considered negligible only most of the time correct because the light ray is the projector is creating it is going to the front area only means the theater area people will be sitting there all the heat energy that is accumulated within it the exhaust fan will take care and it will expel to the outside so the projector heat that is created is spreading to the surroundings will be negligible just 5 or 10 percentage of the rated load is also that also you can 5 percentage maximum you can consider okay. but normal this is for only movie theaters they are having this exhaust systems and all conventional projectors this led projectors and all we will not be having that much uh, exhaust system it will be having an exhaust fan but the exhaust fan will be ejecting the heat generated within the projector to the surrounded area only training room one it will come so the rated load of projector since it is a light fitting the entire load you should consider as the radiation okay rated load how we can find from the manufacturer only we can find it 
okay any manufacturer catalog you can refer and for the conventional led projectors that we are using inside the training room one and all maximum 300 to 500 less than 500 watts only it will come unfortunately we don't know the exact make of projector if you know that then you can go to the any website like even in uh, for example flipkart okay you can go to the flipkart then just uh, search uh, projectors led projectors LED projectors, okay. The make, uh, there is any make that is customer brand. Okay, I'll be selecting Epson or good band. Epson is not there. Anyhow. I guess these kind of small things and all. Epson, good manufacturers will be providing the rated load. These are like cheaper items. So. Light source, here you can see 180 watts. 180 watts, but this is the amount of radiation that is entering in. So not only really that, not, this is not the rated load. This is a light energy source only. Along with that, the rated load of equipment is there, a rated load of equipment. Rated load of equipment might be like uh, 250 watts or something it will come, 250 or 300. Because this is only the light source. Along with the light source, we are having an exhaust fan there. So exhaust fan is having an electrical motor. It will create some heat energy. Plus, it is having a sound system. That will create some mean speaker. It might be creating some heat energy. Sound energy that will enter into the space will be converted into the heat energy only ineffectively. So inside the control panel or inside this, we are having a PLC board or this electronics board. There will be having resistance, capacitors and all. That will also create some heat energy. That's why rated load, since the equipment is fully located within the training room one, rated load, you should consider 100% of heat gain. But that is unpredictable. We don't know the manufacturer. For safety, I'll be considering maximum 300 to uh, 500 watts. So let me consider instead of watt per meter square, watts, 300. Watt schedule. If you want to consider the wattage of projector or task lighting continuously, whatever the condition it may always, you should consider along with the report can consider 24 hour okay. or whenever the training room is functioning light fittings are functioning at that time then you can consider fab light or any special requirement if you are having for example training room projectors we will be using only in monday and tuesday say example i am assuming monday and tuesday 10 am to 12 pm rest of all the time the training room will be functioning projector will not be using Monday, Tuesday, 10 to 12. Then we have to create a separate. Correct. Accurate details. We will be getting from the client only. I am assuming that one. So just go to create schedule. In case. That is my projector schedule. Projector. Go to hourly profile. Profile number one. The projector is on. Will be like. A, there is no need to allowance. Because it, is, it doesn't mean that. 50 percentage of projector will be using before 10. 50% will be using after 12. No. 10 to 12, that will be 100%. Correct. All the other time means like 0 to 9, that will be 0. 13 to 23, that will be 0. 10 am to 12, that will be working. On. Profile number 2, the projector is off 0 to 23. No one will be using that. That is zero percentage. Okay. Now we have to assign projector schedule. Not okay. Just go to hourly profile. Assignment. Design. Anyhow, you should consider on Monday, Tuesday on condition. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, holiday. Off. Excuse me, sir. Ah. Sir, uh, normally whenever we are designing, uh, are we going to, are we normally going this much deep considering the... No, normally when we are generating the report and all 24 hours, we will be creating and we will be assigning it. Okay. okay. Most of the time. But if you are giving input, that will be good, right? Okay. okay. 
the third one see only in the first space it will take some time all the other space we can take duplicate suddenly suddenly we can finish it okay the next one electrical equipment what are electrical equipments we are having light fitting on in other way the entire electricity it is consuming will come inside the spaces heat energy electrical equipment doesn't mean that electrical equipment definitely watt per meter square option is there watt per meter square but that is applicable for only office type of environment correct if you are going to this furniture layout see inside the training room what all electrical equipments we are having see we are having a television there television along with the projector you can consider that but television or if you are coming to uh, ashray fundamentals from here electrical equipment load we can find one second means maximum 100 150 even if there is a big uh, description equipment typical laptop tv is not there no? this computer maximum 100 watts of electricity you can consider recommended heat to typical monitors see typical monitors with respect to the screen size screen size for example i am having a, a 43 inch tv 43 inch how much millimeter will come more than this it will come correct led fl flat screen this n is equal to 1 means when they are arriving this value when they are arriving this value how much equipments they have sampled number of tested equipment for the same configuration correct that's why the standard led flat screen normally above 40 inch and all 40 inches how much millimeter can come like a 40 into 25.4 that will be 1016 40 inch tv 1397 mm how much it is 1397 divided by 25.4 that is nearly 55 inch tv or 50 inch or above name plate power consumption might, might be 240 but you should consider the heat gain of how much 50 so with respect to the average screen size how much heat has to be considered for screen you can find from here 50 correct so that you can add you can add that along with the electrical equipment or even if correct. electrical equipment 50 watts tv you can consider okay but any anything any other detail only tv we are having here see anyhow since it is a training room 25 number of people will be there they might be using desktop computer desktop they have not shown or they might be using like a laptop at least at the time of training So you should consider that the 25 number can come 25 numbers of laptop can come inside then how you can give we have to assume it if you are getting the name plate what type of uh, that it may then that is fine from the manufacturer we are getting otherwise you can go to here for example with respect to the recommended heat gain of typical laptop docking station means multiple monitors they will be docking laptop docking station like this docking station still it is there the last batch here this one these are called multiple monitors they will be docking these are called this is called a two docking system for a single computer two docking system okay so that's why with respect to the laptop for example my computer you can go to it's not a laptop it's a desktop only you can right click this one go to the property i can find that is uh, before it was i5 now i told i changed that into i3 last batch okay yesterday so that's with 3.6 gigahertz 16 gb ram 2 gb graphics card 4 gb i guess okay for example 3 gigahertz until 3.7 gigahertz but i am having like a 3.3 3.6 16 gb ram how much heat gain you should consider 66 watts 66 watts of heat gain you have to consider for a typical desktop but if it is a laptop laptop the clock speed will be means the processor speed will be less for example the standard manufacturer or normal manufacturer this one you can consider 2.6 gigahertz 8 gb ram 46 watts of this one has to be considered okay anyhow inside this room they might be using laptop 
Okay. So 25 number of people will be using laptop. 25 laptop maximum condition. Each laptop you should consider 46 watt. So 25 window 46. Peak heat gain. How much it is? 1150. You can come to the half session. Here instead of watt per meter square you can select watt. How much it is? 1150. 1150. Then the same schedule you can assign. FAB lighting schedule you can assign for power as well. FAB lighting and power. FAB lighting Power, people, everywhere this is the same you can assign. Okay. The same you can assign as maybe lighting. Click OK. So we have to assume that with respect to the, for example, almost all the electrical equipments they have provided here, how much heat gain has to be considered. Okay. And for example, this is like a, a laboratory equipment, analytic balance, electrochemical analyzer, orbital shaker, but these are not familiar for our MEPT, but with respect to the type of equipment, we can find the heat gain. Okay, how much heat gain? Recommended heat gain. Okay. Medical equipment, heat gain you can find, peak one you can consider. Peak and average also they have provided both you can select. Peak will be maximum, you will be safe side. Average will be risky when you are selecting because minimum value only they will be considering for average. Then when you are considering to dishwasher, so this one I will explain. I will explain this one. Electrical because difference is there. Okay, so that's why there is one method. One more method is there. One more method is there. Here I have assumed a laptop. Any other things has to be considered. One printer, if you want to consider, you can. TV is there. TV is there. No? So along with this uh, 1150, you can consider that is 1150 plus 50. 50. Correct. 1150 plus 50. Plus if you are having a printer, you can consider like a 200 maximum. Don't increase drastically. 100 maximum. How, how much? Overall, that is uh, 1, 200. 1,300 it will come. Okay, so you can put that is 1,300. Click OK. This much electrical load can come inside. OK. The next option. Is electrical equipment normally for, uh, except to this office. For example, when you are designing a residential building. In your residential building, within your bedroom, what all electrical equipment can come? The charger can come. Sometimes TV you might be placed. Or in your hall, a TV can come. A sound bar can come. See, now, you might be having this one, iron box inside your home. But iron box, you are not using continuously. AC we should select for continuous heat. Get, heat get, right? And it's maximum 20 minutes and all. You can neglect it, iron box and all. That's why electrical equipment normally for residential application, except office buildings, electrical equipment load is limited only. But office building means office means wherever the computers are coming more or laptops are coming more, office type environment, the electrical equipment is more. So that's why office type environment, we are having one more method that is called a watt per meter square method. Same like LPD, but that is applicable for only office type environment. It means wherever the computers are coming, Office area, bank area, computer laboratory. Whether there is a laptop, 100% laptop docking station. Means you are having, you are designing a, an office building. There they are using just a laptop. They are not using any desktop. That is called a 100% laptop. Light case and a medium case. Light case means each 15.5 meter square they are considering a workstation. For example, if this is your floor area, each 15.5 meter square of floor area, they will consider one computer, light case. Medium means, again, the density will increase. Number of computers within the area will increase. The value is this one, 4.91 watt per meter square you should consider. Means each 11.6 meter square of floor area, you should consider one computer. Accordingly, that will vary. Correct. So 100 percentage laptop, you can consider a medium case, safe side. 4.91 watt per meter square. Then 50 percentage laptop, remaining 50 percentage is desktop only. Correct. There is also light case, medium case. Then 100 percentage desktop, light case, medium case. 100 percentage laptop docking station means a single laptop will be combining with the two number of monitors, two screen docking. But that is not similar. Normally you are not familiar with that. Sometimes in like a 
more graphics related activity than sometimes big screen we might be required no their docking will come 100 percentage desktop with the two screen see safe side actually this one before in 2013 and all there was another table this table was not there before 2013 the table i have shared in your group uh this was the table recommended load factor same with this data we, we can take from previous version of uh, ashray there are just four options light case medium case medium heavy heavy light case means each 15.5 meter square we are assuming a computer medium case each 11.6 meter square we are assuming it medium heavy each 9.3 meter square of floor area we will be assuming less area more computer heavy means each 7.8 meter square you have to assume one computer accordingly Normally, we will be selecting medium KV case means 16.1 watt per meter square for our design. Accordingly, only we will be designing it. When you are going to the Revit software for heating and cooling load analysis, the Revit software is also preset with the same value of 16.1 watt per meter square now also. 16.1. This was the older table and this one is the newer table. But more precise it is. Anyhow, in that scenario, I am assuming inside my... Uh, no docking station, nothing. 100% laptop, medium. 100% laptop, medium. That's why 4.9, 1 meter square you should consider 4.9 watt. Like that, how many meter square? 77.7 meter square, 77.8. So 77.8 multiplied by how much it is? 4.91, 4.91. <coughs> You should consider 381.9, 382 watt. You can select your app. Here, what you can provide, 382. But this will be slightly less, right? Compare it to 382. Less only, it will come. Sometimes it might be more. But you don't want to do this calculation. Rather, you have to select watt per meter square. How much it is? 4.91. You can select 4.91. Remaining calculation the software will do. Software will be multiplying this 4.91 with the 77.8. That will come. Anyway, this is less only. So I'll be going for the previous one. How much it was like uh, 25 computers. Each computer will be consuming 49 watts. Correct. 1225. 46 watt. 25 people into 46. 1150. Plus. 50 for TV, uh, just 150 or 100 for a printer maximum, 1300. So, watts I'll be selecting 1300. Okay. Sometimes, if you are working in a company, the client or the consultant, especially for fit out and all, they might be asking uh, to submit your electrical for so what. From which data you have calculated, arrived this value and all. That's why I'm explaining in detail. Okay. Forehead lighting, task lighting, electrical equipment. Now people. <laughs> See all the heat gain that we have discussed it now. Forehead lighting, task lighting, electrical equipment. That is sensible heat or latent. Which one it is? Whenever we are dealing with the moist air or moisture or humidity, there should be latent. There should be latent, right? But light fitting is not producing any humidity. Task lighting is not producing any humidity. Electrical equipment is not producing any humidity. Kitchen equipments will come. I will explain that within the table. That is conditional. So that's why all these three are sensible only. But people, you should consider both. People will be ejecting both the sensible and latent heat. Both the sensible as well as latent heat. With respect to the activity, the sensible heat rejection and the latent heat rejection will vary. It is not constant. Okay. Now, the people session. How many number of people we are having? Two options. Meter square per person value or just people. Anyhow, we know the number of people since we are having the furniture layout. 1, 2, 3, 4, into, means 24 plus 1, 25 number of people. So, you can select HAP software. Here, we will be having 25 number of people. Okay. 
but when you are designing a mall area see here we are having furniture it doesn't mean that if you are we are always going to get the furniture layout if you are not getting the furniture layout how you can do this one thing the second option if you are designing a mall area mall how many number of people will come within the mall sales area and all unpredictable right because there is no furniture layout that's why suppose if you are designing a, a sales area we can find the number of people with respect to asrai 62.1 standard okay correctional facility i am just going to miscellaneous bank bank lobby residential uh, sales mall common area for example sales area is separate mall common area is separate here you can see here we are having a term called occupant density means 100 meter square or, or 1000 square feet 100 meter square is not exactly 1000 square feet that will come 1076 square feet but they are rounding that 100 meter square with respect to the type of space how much people can come okay so the meter square per person value we can find from here for example when you are designing a mall common area 100 meter square of floor area we will be having 40 number of people correct this number of people only 40 people that means 100 divided by 4 40 how much it will come 2.5 right 100 divided by 40 2.5 meter square per person 2.5 meter square per person from the occupant density the meter square requirement per person we can calculate area requirement of one person 2.5 meter square for example if this sales area is having 77.8 meter square of floor area then the number of people will be number of people is equal to floor area that we are designing floor area that we are designing divided by meter square per person floor area is 77.8 divided by meter square per person is 2.5 so the number of people will be 77.8 divided by 2.5 that is 31.12 31.12 is not possible that is 31.12 you can round that into 32 numbers of people can come clear now so number of people always we are not going to get the furniture layout so if you are not having the furniture layout so also from some exceptional areas like a sales area and all furniture layout is not practically possible so on those kind of location the number of people we can calculate with respect to the occupant density meter square per person value from where we can take it from the same table of 61 of ashrai 62.1 here we can find occupant density for example if you are designing with the conference room 100 meter square how much people can come 50 people can come 100 meter square slightly more that is 100 meter square 50 people so meter square per person will be 2 meter square per person so number of people will be 77.8 meter square that is a floor area divided by 2 39 77.8 77.8 divided by 2 number of people will be 38.9 38.9 let's say 39 numbers of people can come 39 correct 39 for example we can come here instead of number of people i'll be selecting meter square per person you know 77.8 meter square so meter square per person i'll be providing 2 meter square conference room if it is 2 meter square per person now if you want to find the number of people after providing num meter square per person value 2 you can change that into people it will be like a 38.9 people 38.9 people is not possible you can round that into 39 okay so that's why when you are designing a sales area hotel motel or sales area and all this value we can provide mall common area 40 number of people each person we need 2.5 meter square so select 2.5 meter square then you can change that into people 31.1 you can round that into 32 assign it don't want to do the calculation this one but the calculation the software is following in the background is similar only okay anyhow if you are having furniture layout go through that we are having furniture layout now training room so definitely 25 number of people is there 
no need to go for any occupant density calculation. Number of people is 25. What schedule it is? The same schedule I am assigning. Click OK. Save it. One more thing. Heat gain from the people. Heat gain. How much heat the people will be ejecting? If you are going to the internal, what activity level? Office work, 71.8 and 60.1. If you are changing, instead of office, dancing, sensibly is 89.4, latent is 159.7. More. Athletics, sensibly is 208, latent is 319. Because with respect to the activity level, more metabolism rate will be increasing. More heat conversion will be happening means energy conversion will be happening, more heat energy will be accumulated. So with respect to the activity level, that will vary. So you can select the type of activity, then you can assign it. Or if you are selecting the user-defined option, manually you can give the input. The same handbook, Ashray, 60, this one, Fundamentals Handbook, 2017. The people heat gain you can find from here. People heat gain. We can find from here the type of heat gain by it's a concept of one person. One person. <clears throat> For example, if you are seating at the theater, degree of activity, location is theater only, you're watching a movie. If you are a male, you'll be ejecting 115 watt. But when we are designing a space, we can't predict the persons they are going to come within the space is either male or female or kid. Male can come, female can come, kids can come. Correct. So that's why adjusted value we are selecting this one. Whether that is male or female or kids, 105 watts you should consider. Out of 105, 70% is sensible. So it means 70 watt is sensible, 35 watt is latent. Sensible more, latent less okay out of 70 is sensible percentage of sensible heat means radiant convective heat from the body air will be traveling you know, due to the air velocity due to the air velocity means air will be traveling through the surface so accordingly convective heat with respect to the air velocity to the surroundings the heat that is ejecting from the human body to the surroundings is convective <coughs> convective means out of 70 60 percentage of sensible heat gain is what? Radiant only means convective heat transfer. You can say there is type, it's not radiation 100 percentage. <coughs> With respect to the air velocity, this well, data we are taking from table number 6 of chapter number 9. Radiant B. With respect to the value B, approximate data from table number 6, chapter number 9. Chapter number 9, table number 6. Table 4, 5, 6. From this table only we are selecting this. Correct. Actually, the, this equation of convection heat transfer. Only. By the help of this uh, value only, V is in the velocity. With respect to the velocity variation, the rate of heat that is ejecting from the body, seated with the moving wear, reclining with the moving air, walking in still air, active in still air. So with respect to uh, the velocity of wear to the human body, the amount of heat that is ejecting to the surroundings will vary. But there is in-depth that much level of uh, this. No, we are not, we don't want to spend that much time. Okay. So that's why from this table only they have find that value. Anyhow, we can go to that table 473 of this same handbook. Sensible, percentage of sensible heat gain. 60 percentage. Okay. The velocity is more, then it will be decreasing into 27. But at the same time, if you are an athlete, if you are working at the gymnasium, the total heat gain will be 525. Uh, out of 525, 210 sensible, 315 will be latent. Sensible less, latent more because with respect to the activity, you will sweat more. That's the reason. So with respect to the type of activity, for example, office, the training room, if you are doing moderately active office work, then 130 watt you can consider. Out of 130, 75 sensible, 55 latent. So you can come here. Okay, user defined. 75 sensible, 55 latent. Assign it. You can assign. Manually if you want to assign any specific value, you can select the user defined and you can. 
but no problem it's, it's an office only no so i'll be selecting an office building slight variations will come assign it okay manually also we can provide or you can select office work click okay now we can save this one okay clear so today we have discussed uh, under general outside ventilation then or head lighting task lighting electrical equipment number of people <coughs> understood clear remaining things miscellaneous means kitchen items we have to discuss kitchen with the kitchen chimney with the hood option is there without hood, hood option is there so that input we have to discuss at least uh, 15 to 15 minutes then we can move to the walls windows and doors there we should calculate the resistivity value manually lot of methods are there okay that in the next class we can discuss and your hap alone will take five six session five or six classes it will take to finish hap including systems okay now we can uh, ask your doubt if any doubt you have it. 